Welcome to another exciting episode of The Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. I'm Mr. Magazine. Mr. Magazine. Yes. A subscriber actually reached out and asked a question that I wanted to bring to you because I'll be quite honest, when I read the question, I did not have an answer. Wow. So... If you're stumped, holy cow. I wanted to bring it to you, okay. and I want to thank the subscriber for asking it. And the question is, what do you think... With store categories for eBay, is the minimum, maximum, and optimum number of listings to have in each category? Ooh. So, <laughs> exactly. That know, was pretty well, much my exact reaction. I'm different than everyone else because I have 200,000 listings, so we maximize all 300 categories. All right, well, let's say, let's say the... Right, right. But let's say that they suddenly open it up to 500. Yeah. You know, whatever. So you had some spare categories yeah. available to you. Yeah. What would, like, when do you form a new category? When do you split off a new category? Well, I think, is it 5,000 that you can use in a category? Or has that changed? I think you can use as many as you want okay. in a category, so yeah. I, I, for some reason, I, I think 5,000 was the number at some point. But um, I would say 5,000 for me works. So if you have... Say twenty thousand listings, maybe five hundred per category would work for you. So, so 10%, forty, you know, ten percent. So forty right. categories then. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. See, and I'm yeah. totally different on that. Um, I think you would want to have. I, I guess. Well, let me ask you this. Well, I'm we, using all three hundred now. Right, right. So, and then a lot of times we're deleting old ones that have hardly anything in it and coming up with a new one and so forth. Well, again, if you had unlimited categories available to you. Okay. You know, and, and you've got 200,000 listings. Well, obviously, you don't want 200,000 categories. No. That would be absolutely pointless. That would be crazy. A lot of work. <laughs> and pointless. Yeah. Um, so the question would be, you've got as many categories as you possibly need. When would you use a new category, and how big do you think a category is? Because remember, one of the reasons that you have the categories is to let people come in and easily browse and find things. Right. So I've got a category called magazines. Mm-hmm. But I don't have all my magazines in it. Right. I've got magazines Newsweek. Yeah. I've got magazines Time. Um, but then if I get a general type magazine, it might go into the magazines. But then I've also got a magazines Art, which right. would be any category, any magazine that has art in it sure. would go into the magazine Art and so on. I got a Movies and TVs magazine right. category uh, because yeah. again I want to funnel because somebody who wants a movie magazine doesn't want to go through. A whole bunch of old life magazines. Right. They exactly. don't. Right. They want a movie magazine. Right. Uh, I've got a car magazine category mm -hmm. because obviously somebody wants a car magazine sure. and so on. Yeah. So I guess my question is when, like, you could, if you wanted to, have all 300, you know, you know 299 categories that are all mm -hmm. different magazines and one right. that's other. Yeah. When is it overkill and when do you really want to do the, the breakdown like that? Well, sadly, we were better with our stores before we went to the new warehouse. Um, we kept up on them better, meaning for some reason, I think they would limit you to 5,000 per store category. Like it, you, anything over that wouldn't show up. So we were stopping at 5,000. So say we did have a car magazine category, and it was at 5,012. We would start a new car mag, or we would call it Motor Trend or whatever collection came in. We would make a specific category for that. And we kept up on it better when we had a handful of employees and we can keep up with it. Since we got the new warehouse, we're kind of like you, but not on purpose. We're like, we have a magazine category, and then we have, you know, maybe 50 other subcategories with different magazine titles. So if an employee puts it in the wrong category, it's going to be in a magazine category. Either the, you know, the basic, what, what, what word do you want to use? Just magazine. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, if they don't catch the specific one, you know, just like Hot Wheels. We have a die cast category and a Hot Wheels category. If they're listening to Hot Wheels and they don't realize Hot Wheels is there, it's still going into a die cast category. Right, but, okay, you know, makes so we, sense. We have yeah. multiple options. Just to, you know, we got action figures, but we also have Star Wars. We also have He-Man, wrestlers. You know, we have wrestling mm -hmm. magazines, but we have wrestling figures. So um, they're not going to put it in a bad or wrong category. They may not put it in the most optimum one. Okay, right. But um, they're going to put it in one that makes sense at least, you know. And then, in my opinion, a lot of people don't use this. A lot, I don't feel a lot of my customers use the store category because we have so many of them. They may just say, hey, type in Life Magazine under my listings, you know. And right, you're going right. to get everything that way where – Geez, he's got 300 categories, and I don't know how to make them in order. Like, they're not alphabetized, so I don't know if there's a way of doing that. But if a buyer sees it that same way that I see it, they're going to go, I don't know what's here. They're not going to look through all these. You know, it's, it's overwhelming, and I think more than 50 is probably overwhelming, or maybe more than 20 for some people. If they're looking for something really specific, and they see a bunch of, you know, things that aren't what they're looking for, they may just 
pass and go to someone else or just hey i want to just type in life magazine no that makes sense and i guess i hadn't really thought i guess i guess it, it comes down to two what you sell i mean if i literally just sold sports cards mm-hmm. you know great 1960 older sports cards yeah. 1964 tops football 1964 tops baseball and yeah. you could have it organized by that and you certainly could end up you know and then you get some you know, oddball teams, thing you know yankee cards you know dodger cards whatever um, you get you get into something or other like a T206. You just literally have a tobacco cards category right. because I've got two T05s and three T206s and yeah. one T207. I don't want a category for all of those. I can right. just lump those into what we call tobacco cards. Yeah. And somebody that comes in and finds the older cards would be able to find those. Now, can you still do subcategories if you wanted to, like tobacco cards? Then you click on it. Then there's subcategories. You yeah, can you can you, you can do, do that. Yeah, we've never done that ever. So. I, I think that just makes it more for the buyer to confuse them, to be honest with you. <laughs> Even though it's more specific, you know, it's just one extra click they got to get into and stuff. So, Yeah, and so I guess I probably should go and take a look. Now, the way that I had always – okay, let me ask you this. Um, not exactly what the subscriber had asked, but uh, what order are your store categories in and why? Uh, at, at one point, we have them alphabetized, but I think over time it's – just gibbering. It's just all over the place now. So it was anything numbered. So I think we had, well, we did usually have adult stuff, so that would be first under A. And then we did have it alphabetized, but for some reason now we can't alphabetize it. So I don't know if it's a glitch or not, but um, that would be the way to go for us because then it's easier to scroll down and see what you're looking for. Or when we run our sales with our store categories, it'd be easier to find the ones that are, if they're alphabetized, to get to what you want to put on sale. Where now they're, I can't get them in any order. So I just do just, you know, blanket groups of, 10,000 listings from store categories and put them on sale. See, and I didn't do that because I didn't want it, which is kind of crazy because most of the time I'm somebody that would want things alphabetized because that makes yeah. sense. I didn't do that. And the reason why is because I ended up putting what I thought were the biggest categories, the categories that have the most listing slash action in up near the top. So if you saw my store, you know, um, well, how do you move them up there if you don't mind me asking? There's you can you can edit it and do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a way to edit it. Like and do dragging that. them or is it? You got to go into a special page. Yeah, oh, and then you so. can or yeah you can drag them up is exactly what you do yeah, off the special page. You could, could use some. Uh, you know, tune one, up. I think well, we all yeah, need absolutely. to tune up things. Yeah. Um, but we'll just say back in the old days before I was buying the heritage stuff, if I did it alphabetically, art would be one of my first categories. Well, I might have hit art and prints. Yeah. I might have had 25 art and prints items. I wouldn't want that to be one of my first yeah. categories uh, just because, yeah. you know, or I may have, um, I try to keep the magazines grouped together, but then you're only allowed a certain number of characters uh, on your magazine t- or on your title. Yeah. I have Saturday evening post. I can't say magazine sl- dash Saturday evening post. So yeah. I have Saturday evening post. Yeah. I think we got to that point where we're just doing the mag. If, if mag fit, we did mag dash. Yeah. Man. Yeah, so mine literally says Saturday Evening Post. Well, that's down near the bottom alphabetically, but I would want it in my magazine area mm-hmm. of the of the story categories. Right. Or like I have sports cards and I have non-sports cards. Well, they wouldn't be near each other alphabetically, yeah. but I would want them near each other um, when you go into my store. Sure. Uh, so, yeah, and it's probably been 10 years since I tweaked them. I probably need to look in there and take a look and see what I need to yeah. move around. Um, good question, though. It's definitely got debate, and it's well, definitely got me thinking of another thing to do. Let me ask you a question since we're yeah. still on this topic. Of course. Has it been proven that these store categories help increase your sales or help make the buyer experience better and quick and easier for the buyer? No. I mean, not that I'm aware of, but logically it would. You know, logically. If people use them. Like, yes. I've, I've never, do you ever use them? I've never yeah. used them. You do use them? I do use them. Yep. Um, mainly if, if I go into somebody's store back when they had eBay Box, bring those back. Back when they had eBay Box and I was working on a card set. If I went into a dealer's uh, store mm. and I'm working on a 1965 Topps football card set, mm. I go into his 1965 football thing and then I just search in there. So for something like that, I think it works really, really well. Or typing um, in 1965 Topps football in his searches, yeah, which is what I do. You could do that too. <laughs> You could do that too. Well, let me ask you a question: How many like new eBayers even know to do that with a store where us veterans would know that? So you, it might be 70, 30, 50, 50. So you know, half the people may not even know it exists or to, what is this over or how there? to find or, it, right? right. Exactly. Well, I guess my thought is if if even one person can find it, yeah, I mean it can't hurt. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. 
that was a good uh, good discussion. So ultimately, there's no right or wrong answer to that. I mean, obviously, you don't want to set up a store category with one item in it. Um, oh, it's making me get to my employee and say, hey, let's fine tune this this week. Yeah. You know, and again, you don't want to have just one item in it, but you also don't want to have 50,000 items in it if possible. Um, yeah. I guess it would be, the only way I would have one item in there would be if I pick up a big collection and I know I'm going to be listing more stuff into it. And so I get it started and I get one item in it and then and the next week I'm going to list 20. Because then you can just, you know, just stay in, if you a hundred of something, you can sell it, just keep, keep it in there. Keep yeah. it in there, yeah. Yep. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Didn't exactly answer your question, but we definitely do enjoy the uh, the fact that you asked us that because, again, it's a little food for thought and gets us talking over here. And uh, if you could comment down below about your experience with the store categories and if you think they help or not, uh, definitely wondering about that. Hit the like button if you could. That always helps. Uh, and if uh, you could do that, we'd appreciate it. And we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.